it's not only TV that scares us. In fact, if you read news magazines, it's amazing you ever leave your house. Scooters will get you, or playgrounds, or road rage. Newsweek said we're driven to destruction by road rage and quoted a study that said we were increasingly being shot, stabbed, beaten, and run over. It's gotten so bad. Then TV picked up the hype. They're all around you, strangers in their cars, ready to snap. And it's increasing. A bigger problem than ever. The trend is frightening. A growing American danger. But what's the evidence of that? If road rage is something that's increasing, we should have more fatalities on the road. There should be more reports of reckless driving. But these things are going down instead of up. Bob Lichter is president of the Center for Media and Public Affairs, which studies media coverage and has concluded that the media often distort or exaggerate threats, as we did with road rage. Danger at the wheel. A justification for the road rage hype was a study sponsored by the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety that chronicled reports of aggressive driving. Road rage was up 51% in the first half of the decade, according to the report from the AAA. Uh, that's what it appeared to look like from our report. Uh, that's all I can tell you. Stephanie Fall speaks for the AAA Foundation. We saw an increase in reported cases. Reported in the press? Yes, reported in the press. That's right, the report was mostly based on media mentions of aggressive driving. It was circular logic. The media had been covering what it called road rage. The AAA study reflected that. And then the media used the study to do more reports. People were yelling at each other in their cars and making obscene gestures and even getting out of the cars for years. Journalists just found a term for it. So last year, you go home and say, somebody yelled at me from his car. This year, you go home and say, I was a victim of road rage. It might be that reporters just started liking the alliteration, road rage. Well, also they like the idea of violent death by strangers. It's a very common topic in news reports, if you've seen it. Reached epidemic proportions, a bigger problem than ever. Does the study justify that? Well, yes and no. A neglected epidemic. Yeah, that's, that's a bit strong.